I'm Patrick Bailey with whiteboardcoder.com. Today is May 16th, 2020. And in this video, I'm going to be going over how to import overlay images into the real-time landscaping software from Idea Spectrum, and also how to resize the plot. Okay, so we bought a house last year, and with this new newly built house, the newly built house doesn't have a backyard. So we have to go do our own landscaping, or, you know, we have to do our landscaping, and we're going to do it ourselves. And as part of this, I wanted to be some software to help me design stuff. So I got the real-time landscaping software. And I think it's going to help do a good job. So far, I'm pretty impressed with it. Um, so if you see the thing we're doing here, I have the architect version. So there could be a possibility that I, I have some feature or some button you see that may not be on yours if you have the Plus or the Pro. Um, but I, I don't think in this video I'm doing anything particular on that. But just to warn you, I do have the architect version. Um, so with that... Uh, I will be going, I'll put a link in the show notes here about adding an overlay. So we're going to be going to adding, talking about adding an overlay. Uh, but here I'm going to be following some of the notes on here that Idea Spectrum already put out. And a nice thing is Idea Spectrum puts a lot of videos out, a lot of tutorials to help you actually use their software. So great job. So my idea right now uh, to help me uh, create an accurate, I want to create an accurate uh build an accurate landscape of what I currently have. So my idea was to go on Google Earth, Google Maps or something like that, and kind of get the neighborhood because I wanted to get a bigger area because we do have like a trail behind us and stuff. So I wanted to capture all that and rebuild it. So with that in mind, I wanted to get a picture from, you know, Google Earth, Google Maps. And then because we have our architectural drawings, to overlay those architectural drawings on there for accuracy so that then I could use some of the overlay on the bottom to help me really build things up, kind of like um, like a template, kind of like putting, a, almost like tracing. So with that idea, so I got a picture from Google Maps, and then I also, I got like a, 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 a diagram from the builder. Now this actually is at my house, but here's a, an example of, you know, just a, a building diagram. And in fact, I actually took all the diagrams from the first and second floor for accuracy. And then what I did, I built something like this. Now, this is not my neighborhood, but this is a different neighborhood as an example. And so what I did is I took uh, that overlay. I took the picture and I overlaid uh, the schematics on it so I can kind of get an accurate view. And so now that I have this thing that I can use to kind of trace. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and import it. So here I am in real-time landscaping. And so there's a couple of methods to import. But one simple way is I can go up here to the menu and go to Tools and go to Picture Import Wizard, which actually is used for some other things as well, but you can actually use it for the overlay. So open that up, click Next. Use this pull-down menu to collect, select Overlay. Click Next. And then go out there and find the picture. So here I have the Overlay Big Picture, and I'll say open that one. It'll bring it in. And then I can select the picture. Then I can, oh, no, that's not slice. Then I hit Next. And at this point, I can name it. If the name is fine, fine. But I can also send a name, different name to it and say, uh, video, big, overlay, example. So I can rename it right there. Hit next and hit finish. And the nice thing is now it will, I can sit here, it'll bring it in. And I can click on this screen and resize it. And now I believe it should also be available in my library if I want to bring it up later on. Now, an important thing here is I want to resize it accurately. So I can sit here and... and do this, and you can see that's 202 feet by 9 inches, but that may not be so accurate. So the next thing I want to do is get some accuracy. So what I'm going to do is click on, uh, toggle this magnet, which are, is my snap. I no longer want that. And I'll toggle the grid, too, just to get it out of the way. Maybe? Okay, there we go. And then go back here to the overlay. And what I can do is I can say resize using a known distance. So I'll click on that, and I can use my scroll wheel to zoom in. And, and I can, oh, yes, hit the escape bar. And then I can use my drawing. So like here, this says this master bedroom is 15 feet by seven inches. And so I could click, I could uh, hit the resize using known distance. And I can say, okay, from right here to right here. Now it's gonna sell, tell you right now, it says 12 feet, 6.3 inches. And I say, I know that's how it is on that right now, but it really should be 15, feet, seven inches, hit OK, and now it resizes this overlay. So now this overlay is accurate. And I'll bring back the grid here. Um, but let me, uh, for purposes of this example, this actually this actually fits in our page. Um, okay, 
But let me actually, I'm going to exaggerate this because I actually want to make it bigger. So I'll hit on the overlay and say resize. And rather than 15 feet, I'll say 25 feet just to, for the purposes of this video. And so now we can see it's bigger than my grid plot. So what I want to do is a couple of things. One, here's a really cool thing is we have these layers. This is in layer one. So I can click on here and I can see here's this layer and I can lock it. I can hide it because we're going to want to hide it and do different things to this. And we don't want to actually draw in this layer anymore because it's our overlay layer. But let's say, um, as an example, I really want to get these, I want to get this road in and I want to get this backyard in because I really want to actually show some more area around uh, when I do my landscaping beyond my own plot. Well, it doesn't fit, so I need to change my plot. So I can come up here and say, uh, File, Page Setup, and I can change my lot size. Maybe you have a huge lot. You could go down here and say a 400 by 400, and select OK, which I think would probably be too big. And I could resize it and say, you know what? OK, that's too big. So let me go hit File, Page Setup, and I can do a custom size. So I could say, you know, 300 by 350 and hit OK and see if that's a good size to cover all this. Hit OK. There we are. Almost. One more, one more tweak on that. Let me make that 350 is a little too much. So I'll say 310, just to be odd. Hit OK, hit OK. And now we're in the grid. Now that grid's important because I believe I'm not an expert on all this, but that's where it's going to make a lot of your drawings and ignore other things. Uh, in fact, in fact, I know that. Let's see. So I'll hit this. Let me go as an example. I'll come down here and say uh, road and I'll make a road. I'll make a road right here outside of that grid. I'll hit right click to stop making the road. And if I go to perspective, I believe I will. No, I guess I do see the road. But I think the plot is used for drawings. See how my new guy to this. So let me. So now, now that I've got this, let me hit the delete, delete button. Oh, that's another thing is when you want to. This is a little weird for me because I like hitting the delete button. But if I draw something, um, let's see. Oh, as I make mistakes here, let me draw a road here just as an example. Let's say I, I draw a road, click, 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 and then right click to stop and draw it. Um, now I'm used to, if I select something, I hit the delete button, it deletes, I hit the uh, back button to delete it. That doesn't work in this program. You actually have to hit the delete button. There's Next to the back button, there should be a delete button, D-E-L, to actually delete things. That's just how the software works. Um, but I do want to delete that because I want to draw a different layer. So I can come down here and say, click on this, and I can add a layer. You can control things via layers. So let me go add a layer, hit OK. And if you mess up, you can actually move things between layers. So let me go, okay, I'm gonna take this road. I'll make a road here. Right click to be done. I'll say, okay, we don't want um, we don't want sidewalks on that. Where's the default? Mm -hmm. Sidewalk, add a sidewalk. We don't want a sidewalk. There we go. Because we got other sidewalks. And then click on sidewalk here. And I can do this. And right click. And I can move here to these other sidewalks. These paths. Right click on that, and then let me do another sidewalk for this guy. And right click to finish. Now see that's on the wrong side, so I can say, and click over here and say switch sides, and it switches the other one. And it's also not quite wide enough, so I can make it a little wider. Okay, good enough for just this tutorial. And then I can come in here. Let me actually make a simple house. So I can go to building, house, and I can, I'll do this real quick. You know, just make a simple house. Click, 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 and then come here and right click to be done. And we've got our house. So I can go in here to perspective, 
And I can see we've got our house, we've got our roads. But now that other layer, now that we've used it for tracing purposes at this point, we're done with it, you know. Now I can come back here and click on this layer down here and say, you know what? Uh, that first layer, just hide it. Hit OK. And now it's gone. So we got to use it for our tracing purposes, but now we can remove it. So that's a, a nice thing. So um, that's a quick tutorial on how to, um, on how to, in real-time landscaping, how to bring in your overlay, which you can use as a tracing template for a lot of cool things. In fact, one good idea about that is you can actually put, if you're going to do your first, if you have a house with two stories like ours, you can put your, your um, you can put your uh, first and second story in different areas on that overlay, and then you could trace and drag them back in. And then when you're done with it, just turn off the overlay and it goes away and it's no longer bothering you. So it's, it's just great for tracing. And then also, how do you change your lot size? Because if you're like me and you want to see more than your lot, so you can kind of see, because there's a lot of cool things you can do in here with a walkthrough and perspective. So it's nice to see, okay, if I'm on my back porch, uh, what's it going to look like with a tree in the way? Am I going to be able to see, you know, how is it going to look uh, to see the, the trails around? So anyway, there's that. Hope that helps someone out there. Hope that helps someone out there. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a like. To subscribe, just click the subscribe button. Also, you can follow me on Twitter under the handle at whiteboardcoder.com. View any code I may have thrown up as a gist uh, at GitHub under the username Denver, or check out my blog site at whiteboardcoder.com.